This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Our overall layout is looking really, really good. We've essentially rebuilt everything that we had there inside Photoshop. I know our layout isn't perfect yet. There's still more work to go. For instance, we need our logo. We need some header text for our center boxes, but I'm talking about the important stuff, getting all of the main layout components into our red master div element or object. We got all of our spacing worked out as well. So now we can start working on some of the more detailed aspects of our layout. As I say, all the big stuff, all the important stuff we've essentially addressed. Now, the last thing that I want to show you in this phase I suppose you could say, of our web workflow is formatting the overall page. So I want to throw a background color into the background of the overall page. I want to get rid of this red background color. Maybe we'll throw in a few more things. So let's flip over to Dreamweaver and get going here. Inside the CSS Styles panel, I'm going to go ahead and double click on my master CSS rule. And again, I'm going to have to do a double click here. There we go. And inside the CSS rule definition dialog box, I'm going to switch down to the background category. And instead of a red background color, which is no good, I'm going to switch that out for a white background color. The other thing that I want to do, I thought this would be kind of cool in terms of, of formatting, dressing up the page. I'm going to throw a border onto the left and right sides of the master div. So I'm going to go all the way down to the border category. And then across the top here, uncheck same for all because we don't want to border across the top or the bottom. It's just a border on the left and right sides that we're after. So I'm going to start with right. It's going to be a solid one pixel border. And the color that I'm going to use, you can either type this in or you can grab it from the color pop up. It's going to be this guy right here. It's a very light gray number sign CCC. That's the guy that we're after. And same with the left hand side. I'm going to do that as well. Repeat that solid one pixel and then ccc so just a very light gray okay great now go ahead and click on okay we should see our changes happening inside our design view anyway of dreamweaver there we go but if i were to go back to the browser now and refresh we wouldn't really see much of a change other than the the red background getting toasted here as soon as my browser catches up with me there we go Controller Command R there, of course, to refresh. I want to create sort of a distinction between the background of the page on the left and right sides of the layout and then the actual layout itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to Dreamweaver for a second. I want to show you something that's kind of neat, kind of cool. Inside Code View, if you would be so kind as to flip over there, and scroll down to where we have our body, where the body begins. Now for myself, it's down around line 112, 112. And here you'll notice it says body, and then there's all this stuff here. Style, background color, margin top, margin bottom, margin left, margin right. Now all of this stuff is CSS coding, but it's what's known as inline CSS formatting. In other words, there's no rule, there's no CSS rule or style that's created here. It's actually applied in line in the HTML code, if you will. So what I'm going to do is I'm essentially going to pull all of this formatting out of the body element and then rebuild a body style. So bear with me here. What I'm going to do is basically from style all the way over to the closing quote, being careful not to grab the closing angle bracket, by the way, grab all of that and hit delete, and then hit delete one more time to get rid of that, that extra space there. There we go. And then what I can do here is, well, there's a bunch of different ways to do this. Let's do this via the Dreamweaver user interface. So I'm going to flip back over to design view. And whatever I see in design view, I'm really not too concerned about because I'm going to head down to the bottom of the CSS styles panel and click on this guy here, new CSS rule. Go ahead and do the same here. Now, we could code this by hand, by the way. We could have just coded in our new CSS rule, but I thought I'd show you how to do this via dialog boxes. Okay, so new CSS rule. 
And let's see here, starting at the top, selector type, I want to create what's referred to as a tag. And you can see there, redefines an HTML element. That's what I'm after. And it's already set body here for me for the selector name. So if your copy of Dreamweaver didn't do that for you, make sure you have body here in the next field. And then down towards the bottom, rule definition, make sure you're set to this document only. And then go ahead and click on OK. Now, that brings us into the CSS rule definition dialog box, which is fantastic. I'm going to head down to the box category. And for margin, make sure that same for all is checked. And inside the top field, I'm going to type in zero, just like that. So that's setting that zero margin that we had removed not too long ago. And the only other thing I want to do here is I want to set a background color. So I'm going to flip into the background category there on the left. And the background color that I'm going to use, I'm actually going to manually type it in. I'm going to put in a number sign or a hash mark there, and then EC, 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 just like that. Perfect. Go ahead and click on OK. Now that EC, EC, EC is a very, very light gray. You can kind of see it there beside the master div. It's even lighter than the gray that we used for our border on the master div. Let's go and check this out inside the browser. Go ahead and save your work. Flip back over to the browser and refresh, and there we go. There's that light gray there, which is nice inside the background. Again, setting off, pulling off the layout off of the background. That's what, really what I was after. Now, you're welcome to go and experiment with different colors. Maybe you don't want to use grays. You can use really whatever you want, whatever works for you. The only other thing that I wanted to mention here, and I suppose this falls into the discussion on formatting the overall page, is changing the page title, which is really easy to do up here on Dreamweaver's control bar across the top. So rather than web layout, again, which is coming from the Photoshop file, we can call this Board Karate, just like that. There we go, formatting the overall page.